Hey guys, Christine here and I'm back with another curriculum walkthrough. I'm going to show you guys inside of Rabbit Trails for Literature, our brand new preschool curriculum. So I'm just going to get this shared right into my group real quick. If you're not a part of my group, it is Relaxed Homeschoolers the Rabbit Trails Way. It is on Facebook and it is just a really great group of women and um, it is a lot of fun. We do all of our curriculum release parties in there and we um, post special sales that are in there and it is just a really great time and a really great place. If you wanna learn about rabbit trails, that is the place to be. And if you just want homeschool encouragement, it's a really great place to be. So I'll put the link to that down below. Um, but let's dive in. Let us, let's see inside of preschool. So preschool is a little bit different than the rest of our language arts curriculum because obviously we're not gonna have copy work in preschool. Um, it's going to be a little bit shorter. The concepts are going to be different. We're not teaching them grammar concepts yet in preschool. So it's a little bit different than our regular um, language arts curriculum. So I want to show you inside one of our lessons. Um, so something really cool about preschool is all Eric Carle books. So all of the main books are written by Eric Carle, who has all of his amazing artwork. And then, of course, all of the Rabbit Trails pages have books from all kinds of other authors. So there's so much variety still for your preschooler, but they're definitely written on a preschool level. And so it is just a really fun curriculum, so colorful, so artistic, and just a really great time. I had so much fun making this. So we're gonna look inside of A House for Hermit Crab. And let's take a look at the lesson page. Cause like I said, it's a little bit different. So all of the lessons in preschool are um, social skills because like I said, they're not gonna be learning grammar concepts in preschool. So they're all social skills for your child to go over. So it's gonna have the same kind of layout that it's gonna have the lesson and then it's gonna have their Bible verse. So there are still Bible, Bible verses included. They're just not expected to copy them. So they're not a part of copy work, but it'll have the Bible verse. It'll still have a little Bible lesson, just like our other literature lessons. But then there's also a little let's learn section. And so inside of let's learn, it'll have suggested letters for them to go over. It'll have suggested numbers for them to learn. It'll have a suggested shape to learn and a suggested color to learn. These are all optional. It is totally what level your preschooler are, um, is on. And then they kind of go back in the um, more ideas section as well. And those are kind of reiterated in that section. So you might be adding a diamond into a craft, or you might be purposely coloring something turquoise or something like that, just to kind of put that real world application to these. Um, something that's also suggested in the beginning of the curriculum is to make some tactile flashcards. So this is something you can do at the beginning of the year together and just go through all the alphabet, or you can do it on those weeks. So if the week is for letter S and letter T, you can make those that week. And so all we did was use some glue and some glitter, and that way they can trace it with their finger because using tactile flashcards is super age appropriate. It is not age appropriate to actually be writing at that age. Their hands aren't developed the correct way to write. Does that mean that they shouldn't be coloring and they shouldn't be using pencils? Absolutely not. But it's not our main focus at age three and age four to be doing those things. That is our focus starting more into kindergarten, especially into first and second grade. That's when we're really gonna start amping up that writing. When they're little, let them do little other fine motor activities. So these tactile flashcards are really great. I did find using a glue stick was actually easier than um, using like liquid glue. So put that in your back pocket for when you do it. Um, but so they're just really, really sweet. Of course, ours are all pink. Can you tell what color my daughter picked? <laughs> so we created all of these to go along with it. And it was just really fun for her to be able to trace the letters that way, doing some air tracing and different things like that for her to practice her letters just in a much more age appropriate way. So like all of our other literature lessons, the next thing you're gonna find is the some fun section. So there's some amazing little crafts in this curriculum. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do and the ex exact supplies you need, and then a picture of how ours turned out. And of course, if yours turns out differently, that is absolutely fine. Make them unique, make them your own. Next up, we have our rabbit trails page. So that will have our rabbit trails. So with this being a house for hermit crab, they're gonna be talking about hermit crabs in the rabbit trail section. So there's more books on hermit crabs. There's a video on hermit crabs that's suggested there for you. 
And then same with our library list is more hermit crabs, uh, books about tide pools, all of that so you guys can get some more hermit crab fun. And then last but not least, there's the more ideas section. So like I said, we're gonna be tying in some of those let's learn concepts here. So there's suggestions for a snack, there's suggestions um, for walking like a crab, getting some of those gross motor skills going. Um, there's suggestions um, for songs. A lot of these have songs tied in with them. I really wanted to find nursery rhymes and other fun songs because that repetition really is key at that age and it's a really sweet time to use songs in their learning. Um, and then there's um, other things like uh, with the number on here and practicing the months of the year, all kinds of fun stuff to introduce to your preschooler. So it's just a really, really sweet curriculum. So let me go through for you guys. Let me get my computer up here and um, go over the different social skills that you'll be learning in preschool and also the rabbit trails you'll be going down inside of preschool. So there's 14 different lessons inside of the preschool curriculum. And so all the different social skills you'll be learning will be working together, being a good friend, greeting others, patience, encouragement, taking care of others, healthy eating, being a hard worker, contentment, community, having courage, kindness, giving, and being yourself. And then the rabbit trails, tell me if you can guess what books these go with that are Eric Carle books, but the rabbit trails are going to be clouds, fireflies, crickets, flowers, beetles, seahorses, caterpillars, spiders, tortoises, nature, hermit crabs, ladybugs, the moon, and chameleons. So they are all nature-based rabbit trails for this. And that was really important to me because preschoolers should be out in nature. They should be getting hands-on. They should be having fun when they're doing school at the preschool age. It is not about learning at this age as far as getting a book and memorizing a concept. At this age, it's all about exploration. It is all about fun. And it's all about just repetition and just introducing those concepts to them. None of this is expected to be, they should not be able to memorize this alphabet and how it looks and how to trace it by the end of the year. It is all introduction to them. It is just introducing, this is an A, this is how you make an A, right? That's it, super simple. If they can't do it at the end of the year, that's okay. That just means they aren't ready yet, but you introduce that concept to them. And that's the important part. We want them to have fun. We want them to be outside in nature. We want them to play and be hands-on. All of the crafts are just super sweet ways to practice some fine motor skills and just to have fun and tie in those stories to their lesson. So it is just a super duper sweet curriculum. I'm gonna show off the books to you guys. Let's take a look at all the books that are included in this, all these wonderful Eric Carle books. So we've got The Very Lonely Firefly, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Of course, we have the Very Hungry Caterpillar. We can't leave that one out. The Tiny Seed. A House for Hermit Crab. Little Cloud. The Very Busy Spider. The Foolish Tortoise. The Mixed Up Chameleon, The Very Quiet Cricket, The Grouchy Ladybug, The Very Clumsy Click Beetle, Mr. Seahorse, and Papa, please get the moon for me. So these are all just gorgeously illustrated. They are all on that wonderful preschool level where those children need to be reading and it is just a lot of fun. So there's 14 books, 14 lessons. Each lesson is meant to go over two weeks, which makes it a 28 week curriculum. So it is about a full year, especially for preschoolers. If you need to stretch things out, stretch things out. If you need to skip things around, skip things around. These don't need to be used in any particular order. You can use them however you would like and just change around the letters and the numbers that you're doing those weeks. No problem at all. But the most important part is that you're just having fun at this age and that they're enjoying learning. We're setting the stage for them at this age, right? 
we are getting them ready for their school years. It's pre-school. We're just introducing. We're just getting them ready. So we want them to have fun. We want them to be excited to do school. So I really hope that that's what this curriculum does for your preschooler. Thank you so much for joining me. I have had a great time showing you through all the curriculum and I'll make sure I put all of the links for you down below so you can get a sample lesson. I also have a freebie lesson for you guys to try um, from one of my favorite books, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And so you can see inside rabbit trails and see if this will be the right preschool curriculum for you. All right guys, I'll talk to you later.